Good morning, my name is Peter Kolb. I'm the Montana State University Extension Forestry Specialist, and I'm going to be talking to you today about today's forests, and specifically about forest management planning and the role it plays in keeping your forest healthy and functional. All forests uh, are like any other plants, communities, they grow, they get bigger, they get denser. And to grow, trees, just like other plants, need water, sunlight, nutrients. And certainly forests can grow overly dense where they stagnate and compete with each other. One of the roles of forest management is, try, is trying to keep forests healthy and functional, uh, both for trees, but also all of the services those trees provide, including wildlife, watersheds, and recreational values. So behind me is a forest uh, in its original state that then also had some management conducted on it. And management that removes some trees, opens up more light, more water, and can often result in promoting ample tree regeneration. Uh, this area that was thin behind me uh, has received a lot of forest regeneration on it, which is good. We have two different age classes, which provides for a more vibrant forest. Um, another management activity that is commonly done is to provide for the vigor of individual trees. So off to my left uh, is an area that was recently thinned for the second time. Uh, the whole purpose of the thinning is to provide each individual tree with adequate soil for water and nutrient acquisition, as well as uh, getting ample light for photosynthesis. But there are other values to manipulating and managing a forest for overall health. Uh, forests also have their share of insects, diseases, and other risk factors that can degrade those forests. We're on the same property, the same landscape. We just uh, turned to a different angle. Behind me is an area that burned in a wildfire last year. And in the front of that region is an area that had been thinned by the landowner to provide for additional vigor for individual trees. Uh, it also spaced the trees out, and in the process of thinning that, they removed a lot of the woody debris that pre presented a significant fire hazard. So in the front, the area that burned, burned in a what we call a beneficial manner, where the fire actually recycled nutrients, uh, further helped prune trees up and thin them. Uh, in the background, in the unthinned forest, where there was a very high fuel loading, you can see where that fire jumped into the crowns of the trees and turned into a stand replacing fire that catastrophically altered that landscape. Both the trees and the seed sources were destroyed, so without planting or some other human manipulation on that site, that landscape will convert from forest to grassland or, in worst case scenarios, a, a big weed patch. So, Developing a forest management plan for your property is really a process of assessing what you have, how your trees are growing, and what values you would like to enhance with uh, some type of management activities. Those might be reducing noxious weeds, increasing wildlife habitat, uh, increasing vigor for your trees, potentially providing logs for a commercial market, uh, for sawmills that provide woody, wood uh, for house building and things like that. But all those things need to be thought about very carefully uh, and planned for in the future. And really the process of developing a forest management plan is really a process of learning about your forest. The plan is just the tool through which you learn, you learn about how your forest functions and what its future might be.